Well, there's a lot of bands watching because obviously we're on MySpace. There's yeah. a lot of bands on MySpace, so uh, heed those words. Um, Tracy asks, is there a song or piece of music that you can remember from your childhood that uh, still inspires you today? Mm. Yeah. yeah, there's this little uh, music box that I have, mm. and uh, and that's inspiring to me. It's like this old wooden, like it's about like that tall, little windy thing that you see, and it's and it's called the Swan Song. Mm. It's mm. A very it's a very melancholy. It's a very sad. Something very melancholy about music boxes generally. Isn't it? Yeah, this one is uh, the notes are just they just get you. You know, you, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yep. You know, and I learned that, that that song is actually about, uh, it's the song the swan sings before they die. I just recently oh, wow. learned that. Yeah. They so actually make a sort of noise before they die. It's just, that's, that's the, uh, you know. Wow. That's a, dark but that's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Dark but beautiful. One years old, I'm like, dark, dark kid. <laughs> yeah, we were already wearing eyeliner. Like, <laughs> we uh i just got a text message from zane Lowe. he said nice. he said dude your myspace thing has gone insane <laughs> are you in town that's funny all right zane so. how you doing yeah <laughs> love you zane um cassie asked what is the weirdest slash most outrageous slash craziest thing a fan has ever done or indeed, to follow with your music. I'm I don't. I, I mean, I think the what other people would think outrageous isn't what we would think out is outrageous. But other people would probably think probably the amount of tattoos that uh, with Thirty Seconds to Mars symbology yeah. mm -hmm. would probably be outrageous to us. It's kind of I think it shows a sign of camaraderie and affection and belief. Uh, but you know, there there have been some other things that yeah. uh, you know. Um, There's been some crazy things. I don't know. There have been some things out yeah. there that we could uh, talk though. about that would be mind blowing. So. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of bands on like MySpace. there's something that I could tell you right now that that, that you would you would not believe. It would be the end all the, to all things. That's yeah. it. Period. Literally. So, wow. But but we, we we're not so sure that you know. This has been requested to never speak about. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Enough. But by all means, that you can't top it. For sure. No one no one would be able to top it. What did they chop their legs off and, and send them to you to be signed <laughs> and sent back with a self-addressed envelope? It's just one of those Next things. Next question. Yeah. It's just one of those <laughs> things. Well, I guess what it is now. Um, Brittany asks, do you listen to music to get ready and pumped up for a show? Uh, and if so, who do you listen to and why? Uh, I don't listen to music very much in general, but these guys do. No, I have the Tiger just before. No, definitely not that. <laughs> Little Frankie goes off. Sometimes I listen to Dillinger's Escape Plan before I go on because it's so crazy and it gets you Ludwig Van. No. Or Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Tchaikovsky. It's a good one too. Ludwig Van. Naughty, naughty. Um, there you go. Um, on the subject of your music, Siobhan asks, she says, if you had to choose a quote or line from your music, to describe what motivates you day to day, what would it be and why? Burn, let it all burn. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot. I think there's so many. Yeah, well, some of the things that are in the in in the songs and the lyrics are really, you know, not only my hopes and dreams, but I think probably us as a collective. Uh, you know, you put in some of your fears, some of the the. Uh, some of the ways that you deal and confront these challenges in mm -hmm. life and you know if you took a look at the lyrics you can get a sense of that and I think that uh, a lot of people understand that whether it's uh, you know doesn't have to be a battle with uh, your record company it could be a battle with uh, your parents or it could be a battle with uh, yourself or your creativity or whatever it is but if there's you know we, we put a lot of ourselves in, into the music it's a it's something that you know it's very uh, I think at times are revealing and, and very human. So, uh, yeah, that's my long answer to that question. Nice. Um, we, we've only got a few minutes left, actually. But so you see, you're like a regular. Get... You're a regular Barbara Walters over here. Yeah. You just you're genius. To the core. You're genius. Yeah. I mean, we're just going to have to crack genius. through. But I mean, you know, we, we'll do a few minutes. Uh, get your questions in now, people. Get your last chance to get your questions in. Um, We've got a lot coming in, one of which, the video to Kings of Queens was amazing. I agree with that, I love that actually. 
Any brilliant plans for the next videos? Oh. <laughs> planning and planning. Only brilliant ones, that's all they want to hear about. Uh, they only want to hear about brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, we're plotting and planning right That's now. That's what happens when you when you raise the bar. You sort of have to stick to it. Yeah, you're sort of tied to your uh, your level of quality. Um, Haley asks. A lot of people have been asking this actually. Would you ever hang out, or, or do you, in fact, with any of your fans? Yeah, we hang out and talk with people all the time, and we interact. We have people that are, are helping us to film our shows mm -hmm. uh, and, and for the future live DVD. We have people at The Hive in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. which is this uh, campaign headquarters. Yeah. Uh, and and I won't play. You know, and we, we're, we're there uh, spending a lot of time uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Should we look here and, uh, uh, and pick a question, Tom? Can we see this? Yeah, you can see, you can absolutely see it this. I mean, we're picking the best ones out of this, but... Well, um, I'm well sure who there said are... you know what the best one is? <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of bests. Oh yeah, bests. Um, uh, so check it, you grab it. Look at this, it's so fast. My lord. Look at all of this. By the way, to everybody watching this that came out uh, to the Into the Wild tour here in Europe, Thank you so much for the best time of our lives and, and to the people that are coming to see us in the States. Uh, I'd say get ready, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. And he messes, messed up on stage that you remember? Yeah, I remember falling on my ass in Milan on the first show that we played. What about, yeah, falling on my uh, ass on my stool. What do you think about painted people on tour? The more painted people, the better. Yeah, yeah we're big supporters definitely. of painted people. Definitely. Yes, lots like, of colors. Uh, yes, make the video for Hurricane. Can I ask you a question off the blog? I've got uh, this a, a question for Jared from Liz. Uh, she says, Jared, do you draw any inspiration from your, from your time no, no, no. as a member of Frozen Embryo? No, no, no. <laughs> who, who threw that question to you? That was Liz. Was that a burning desire? You sorted through that whole list just to get that. You suppose it was right here. <laughs> now, let, let us do this right here, my friend. We are looking through the people's questions. Staring into the uh, Why is someone uh, speaking French and Night of the Hunter? Why not? Well, you have to dig deeper. There are some messages in that song that uh, that are very uh, interesting. If you can find it. It's kicking off on the chat, isn't it? It's great. It's fun just to sit here, us watching you, watch us, watch you, watch us. Yeah, watch no. Be. Do you speak Spanish? See, si. Shannon, what, what makes you nervous, Shannon? Oh, no. Tomo right here looking at me this close. That makes me nervous. <laughs> Look at me again. Oh! <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Where would you like to film a video, Tomo? Croatia. <laughs> that would be a easy, that was an easy one for That'd you, cool. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a few locations in mind, just let me know when you're ready. All these, what great questions, what, uh, this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for, for asking all the questions and, and, and having it. Yeah, thanks for everybody for tuning in and all your questions. Yeah. Um, it just remains for uh, 30 seconds to Mars. Shannon's Everyone, I think everyone should send in a question for you now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, let's hey. answer, you deserve one question. Like, where'd you get that watch? Because like, I like it. Can you, can you go a little wide? Have you seen both these guys on camera right here? And then where'd you guys get your shirt? Sure. He works in our music team. This, this is that. Tom, not this to be... Really this, this is Tom. Not that, not Tom, but... <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> unfortunately or fortunately? <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. Unfortunately. No, okay, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, the um, this is the checked crew. Red checks are in, people. That's the word on the street. Yeah. And I can't I can't argue with that. Yeah, and they got you know they did a, a great job. So thanks to everybody here at MySpace for for having us, and uh, we love you guys. Thank you. Thanks thanks thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. And thanks for helping us be number one in submitting questions. Sorry, Justin. Uh, Oh, you beat Justin Bieber. Yeah, Bieber. Sorry, we didn't mention Sorry Mr. Bieber. You're a very handsome young man, but um, the echelon. Yeah. They did a good job. Yeah, the echelon prevail again. Again. Bye, guys. We love